Hello everyone and welcome on Homemade School. Our video tutorial on today is image classification using machine learning in the Ophio toolbox with QGIS. So, uh, before starting, we hope you have already installed the Ophio uh, toolbox and if you have not yet installed the Ophio toolbox in QGIS, you can check on our last video that shows you how to install the Ophio toolbox in QGIS. So today we are going to do image classification using the machine learning algorithms present in this Ophio toolbox. First, we are going to check if our Ophio toolbox is well installed and then we can unroll and see the different options that are present in the toolbox. So if you unroll in the learning section, we can see different machine learning algorithms that are present and the algorithm that is going to interest us today is the image classifier. So the first thing we have to do is we have to have our image that we want to train and we have also to have a region of interest that we have selected. In this case, we have selected some regions of interest on the image that is vegetation, water, the soil and the buildings. And if we check the attribute table of our, of our shape file, we can see that we have attributed the label one to the vegetation, the label two to the soil, the label three to the water and the label four to the buildings. So these labels are going to be used in order to train our algorithm. So we close this window. So the first thing we have to do before starting to train our classifier is first of all to compute the image statistics of our image to be trained. So if you come here, we can see compute image statistics and we can launch the image statistics. We select the image and then we select where we want to save our image. In this case, uh, we have our section where we have to save. We are going to create a new file. And name it image stats dot XML and we save and then we can run the algorithm so our image statistics file com uh, computed we can now launch our classifier in order to train it so we are going to launch our train image classifier when we launch the train image classifier is going to ask us for an input image list. So we come here and we select the image that we want to train. Okay. Then we select the input vector data list. The input vector data list is our region of interest that we have just created. So we come here and we choose our region of interest. Then it's going to ask us for validation. Uh, vector data is optional. So we're not going to put it so we go and select our input XML image statistics file that we have just computed and we can check here here the file is present we open okay so we come here to train and validation sample ratio so this train and validation sample ratio represent the ratio of the training data set to the validation data set so if we have 10 uh sample sample data is going to use 0 0.5 that's 50 percent for the training and 50 percent for validation so we're going to change this value and put it to 0 0.8 in this case 80 percent of our data will be used for training and 20 percent will be used for validation so now we ask we are asked for the field name that is the field labeled that contains one that represents vegetation, two soil, uh, three water, and four uh, 
buildings. So we're going to put here label, the name of the field that contains the integer values. So we put label. We can import a DAM or a Geoid file if we have one. If we don't, we're going to leave it by default. So now in image uh, classifier, we have different type of classifiers that can be used. We have, we have the, the library of support, support vector machine, the boosting algorithm, the decision tree, the, the bias, the random forest, and the k-nearest neighbor. So the algorithm that we're going to use today is the k-nearest neighbor. And the k-nearest neighbor algorithm functions in, in assigning pixel values in taking the closest neighbors and selecting the pixel value of the majority class that it found and assign it to a pixel value. So in our case, we are going to choose the number of neighbors for the sampling to be 32. And we're going to leave it by default. We are going to select our output, where to save our output model. And we're going to save it here as k nearest neighbor model dot xml and we we'll register uh, same for the output confusion matrix output knn dot x, xml then we save and we can run our algorithm. So the training may take a little bit of time depending on your computer capabilities. Okay. The training done, we can now go forward to uh, to do predictions, that is to classify our uh, image. So we can go on image classifier here and we launch the algorithm. Select input image. We have our input image and we import the computed model. That is the KNN model we have just computed. The image statistics file. And the label mask values. We are going to leave it as default. Output image. Output image, we are going to save here as KNN classif for classification. The confidence map, we are going to leave it as a temporary file. And we can run a classific classification. And still as the training, depending on your computer's uh, capabilities it can take few or longer time so just be patient okay processing complete so we can now go close this window and we can see that our image have been classified and here we have the confidence map the confidence map the white areas are areas that has the highest confidence and the dark areas low confidence in terms of the classification. So now we can see that our image have been classified but is still in the gray scale. So we are going to reclassify this image in the different classes. And we see now, uh, and we can see here that the image has been classified into four classes. That is the four different classes that we have provided to the, to the classifier. So we are going to classify now this image and assign the various colors. Class 1 was the vegetation, so we are going to give him this green color. Class 2, the soil. Class 3, water. And class 4, the buildings. And we apply. So we can see our image has effectively been classified using our algorithm. So we can zoom 
on these areas and try to compare. So we can compare the building areas with our image classifier. And we can see some areas that the clouds have been classified as the as the buildings. So in order to remove these clouds, we can apply a cloud mask in order to mask out or assign a particular class for the clouds. So this was image classification, supervised image classification using the machine learning algorithms present in OTD. So check out for our next video where we're going to do the same operation but using now unsupervised machine learning classification. Thank you.